everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crew Bouge. Welcome to Crew Bouge. Happy weekend. Um, I mean, yeah. just happy everything. <laughs> happy everything. We're at a loss of words. We, we tend to take on Friday, so it's kind of like at the end of the week. And yes. it's just nice to be able to have a nice glass of wine with friends and just kind of catch up. So, Des, how have you been? What's been going on this past week? This past week has been... This past week has been really good. I've been um, I've been working on some self care routines to mm -hmm. like try not to get myself too stressed out with like everything that's going on, and I've been making a point to like get out of the house and like walk at least half an hour every day, and mm -hmm. so it's been really great because I've been able to like listen to a lot of great podcasts or different music, and I, it's really helped. I mean, before COVID, I used to walk like all the time and like now just being at home which it seems like it would be easier to like just get out and walk because you're you're home but mm -hmm. working from home can sometimes be so complicated and you know you just run there's not enough hours in the day all the time between like personal life work you know school you know like your life is just as busy so mm -hmm. sometimes like walking only happens on like on the weekends or you know but anyways it's been great I feel I feel really good so yeah it's been a great week. That's a great How about you? Week. What's going on? And you're, you've got a lot going on, but what's going on? <laughs> well, um, my week has been chock full of everything. Um, today, I'll share with our listening audience. We'll see who, who hears and who doesn't hear, who, who does and who doesn't, um, who watches us and who doesn't. Um, I got a new job. I'm going to act like I'm hearing it for the first time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like you haven't gone through the whole saga with me, like, you know, that <laughs> kind of thing. But yeah, so, you know, it has been a challenge with like balancing old work. Um, I think one thing that I did learn this week is how important it is even in whatever situation you're in at work is to continue to do your best at your job even Absolutely. when it's like um I know a lot of times you know even if you're in adverse situations you kind of want to be like Ugh, I'm just gonna do just enough give me a new job and move on but um I like was able to get the copy of what uh, my current boss the current owner of the company that I work for said about me and I was like that's right. I am the bone. Oh my yes, God. of course you are. So, so yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. And um, yeah, I'm, I am super duper excited. Um, so yeah, I think it's just awesome to put your best foot, but I'm tired as hell, y'all. I, I can imagine. I'm tired. Well, <laughs> so it can be mentally exhausting, even though it's, like, so many great things. Like, it's just it's, mentally exhausting. Like, it really is, because you're, like, balancing and doing right. some things and still living and all that kind of stuff. And um, we just went through this major, like, audit. And it's, like, <gasps> I'm so glad to get over that. I'm, like, but it, it literally culminated. Today is my last day. So I've been celebrating since then. So you can ask me the magic question. Well, first of all, congratulations. I'm so happy for you and like your new venture. Uh, so definitely raise a glass. But yes, as we raise a glass to you, tell me, what are you drinking? So I am drinking Barton and Guestier. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So I'll about bring it in closer for you guys to see it. Yes, Barton yes, e yes. Westrier, and it is a Vouvre. It's a Vouvre. Vouvre. Yes, I'll make it in, bring it in closer. So we did a live, and we had an awesome um, gentleman join our live, and um, we're grateful for his support so we'd love to shout out people if you aren't following at Tempranillo Tony yes. in New Orleans you need to follow Tempranillo Tony in New Orleans and he suggested Vouvray honestly I cannot remember ever having this but it has become one of my favorites um 
so just a little bit about this winery. Um, it's super old. It's been around for about uh, 300 years. Nice. Um, Thomas Barton, he was, um, he sent his first bottles of wine oh, from, Verdeaux, from Bordeaux um, in 1725. So this winery has been around since 1725. Oh my god! And gosh. they've been producing the Chenin Blanc. Um, and that's what Bouvray is made from. Chenin Blanc grapes mm -hmm. from the Loire region in France. So it's a French white. Um, one thing that I can say, and I'm sure you guys can kind of see, it, it's a really, really pretty bright yellow straw kind of color. Um, oh. The nose on it is it's super fruity. Um, I would say pineapple and all the good, you know, I you you will laugh at me, all you wonderful wine students and W said three and four and fives and all that. I smell pineapple and I'm like, oh, this is the best thing ever. But it's um some pear pineapple. Nice. I don't know. It just smells tropical fruity for me for some yeah. reason. But um I wasn't sure what to expect with Bouvray because I'd never had it before. And I'm sure you'll share more about like the spectrum of how Bouvray comes. Um, but this one is a little bit sweeter than what I thought it would be. If you guys are looking for a wine that is white, that can really go with a bunch of stuff, um, but you want it a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit sweeter. And it's also petalant. Is it petulant? Petulant, like petulant, like petulant. <laughs> petulant. Um, so it's it's not quite a pet net, but it's like it's got that little like you know the little effervescent, and I'm sure that it comes from how it's um, actually it's a produced. Fizz, it's got a little fizz. Yeah, it's got a little fizz to it. So it's um, so would this you will see be off mm -hmm. dry? Like it's not necessarily dry, but it's not necessarily sweet. So maybe like kind of off dry. Because I think. Or is it sweet? It's, and you know, I'm normally drinking sweet, so I would say it's a little bit sweeter than off dry. Okay, okay. It's a little bit sweeter than off dry. This is definitely sweeter than what I, it's much sweeter than what I expected. Um, I went in and to my favorite place, Total Wine, <laughs> and um, went over and they were like, oh, the wild region. And I was like, oh, let me go ahead. Um, and pick this up. It's about, um, oh, and then again, I'll say the name is Barton Boistrier, Westier, whatever. You guys know I'm not, I don't speak French well. Um, but um, it's it's really good. If you like a sweeter wine, you like a sweeter white, um, it could even go, I mean, you can just drink it by itself um, and it'd be great. But definitely like, I was, it's the perfect like summer wine. Like if you just want a nice summer wine, not, it's definitely not Moscato sweet. It's sweeter than, um, it's sweeter than, um, it's a little bit sweeter than a Riesling. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a little bit sweeter than that, but still very crisp, but super fruity. Um, totally enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I, this is my first go round with this French Vouvre, and um, I'm loving it. I just love to say the word. Vouvray. I was just gonna say it sounds so fun to like Vouvre. It's just fun to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Vouvre is just fun to say. That's Ooh, a t-shirt. Let me that. write that. I like down. that. That's that right. is a t-shirt. Mm. Y'all know I love. A, I do have on my Cali Wino t-shirt today. I love a good t-shirt. Um, I wrote it down. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, so let me give you all the other specs because I was good. Um, it's about fifteen dollars a bottle. Um, and it's twelve percent alcohol. This is actually a twenty eighteen vintage, which is not bad. Fifteen dollars, you know. And um, it's funny on the side of the label. You know, you can clearly say that someone came in and took over like this. So they have like their own frequent shoppers QR code on the side of their bottle. That's the first oh, time cool. I've ever seen that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i thoroughly enjoying it. And it's good. Cool. I just read this. It was like, oh, it's such a citrus grapefruit and pineapple. Fresh and lively. Attack 
evolving on a long mineral finish. So that's what they said. That they sounds said. good. So yeah, also, but that, I com that's what I'm drinking. I completely agree with you about the pineapple because I mean, pineapple is like one of my favorite fruits. Like I, lo I love everything about pineapple and I get excited also when I smell it. But recently in like our tastings for class, I feel like I'm smelling a lot of it. Um, our teacher has this expression, I guess she, she says she sit, she's sitting on a graphite chair because she always smells like graphite in a wine. And like when we were tasting last week, I felt like the last several wines, I was like, pineapple. I'm like, wait a minute. There can't be pineapple in all the wine I'm drinking. Like, maybe I want to smell it. Or maybe there is. But it's just like, I feel like I'm getting a lot of, like, pineapple notes. And I love it. Like, mm -hmm. it, I get excited. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, pineapple. You feel like, ooh, fruity. <laughs> tropical fruit. But, oh. yeah. And it also has, like, that little fizz. So it gives it, like, um, effervescence. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I, and I'm really enjoying it. I didn't, and I haven't had a wine this sweet in a very long time. And um, if for all of my wine drinkers who like it a little on the sweeter side, not Moscato and not, you know, too dry, but this one is, this one kind of floats in there. And Dej, I'm sure you'll tell us more about the range and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm drinking. So what you drinking, Dej? Well, I'm also drinking a Vouvray, and my Vouvray is from Domaine Toussaint, or Toussaint, I hope that's correct. Can you see the bottle? Okay, now we can. Okay, there okay, we go. Great. Perfect. So, uh, this is, so my first venture into Vouvray happened earlier this year, and it only happened because of wine school. I was realizing something like one of the great things about wine school is that I get to venture out and try so many different wines that I've never had before. I mean, you know me, I am a creature of habit. When I find something that I like, I stick to that. So I like my Zinfandels. I like my Grenaches, you know, and usually like if I go buy wine, I go and buy the same thing. But now that I'm drinking so many more things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never had this before and I love it. So yeah, I had a Vouvray earlier this year. Absolutely loved it. So when Tony mentioned that we should talk about Vouvray, I was all on board because <laughs> you were so all good. in. It was so good. I had earlier this year when I made it, and I think this made it better because the pairing was perfect. I made mm -hmm. this like chicken with a garlic sauce. Mm. And let me tell you, the pairing, those two together, was probably the mm. best thing I've eaten all year. And I, that includes that going amazing. to a restaurant where an actual chef made it. Like, it was a mm -hmm. great experience. I remember I was just, like, sitting in my house all alone, eating my dinner, drinking my wine, tasting that chicken. I was like, everything. This is amazing. It was just, yeah, everything was perfect. <laughs> You're, like, patting yourself on the back. Like, I really was, because it was it was also a Pinterest recipe that I had gotten right, like, the first time around. I was like, look at me. I'm impressed. So, um, anyways, I've gotten way off base. So, <laughs> I'm drinking the Domaine Toussaint Vouvray. My Vouvray is off dry. It's fruity. It's bright. It's floral. So, uh, Chenin Blanc, it's an aromatic grape, and so I'm getting a lot, I'm not getting pineapple, I wish I was, but I'm getting a lot of the peach, the honeysuckle uh, aromas, I'm also getting melon, some dried apricot, some uh, like green apple, really, really good, mm -hmm. like just excellent. Um, so as far as like the ranges, as Ro was just mentioning, Vouvray, you can get it. it, it can be completely dry, and it can also be very sweet and um so yeah mine just happens to be off dry I believe the first one that I had maybe wasn't this sweet so I would say if I go back in my notes it's probably going to be a dry wine but this is really good and you mentioned Riesling that it's kind of similar to that and I was thinking in my head because one of my other favorite new things that I've discovered this year is a I hope I don't butcher I'm still it's a ger like German spot lacy Riesling, and that's what it kind of tastes like because it's, you know, it's not overly mm -hmm. sweet, but very just like fruity and just, just really, really good. Mm -hmm. And let's see, what else do I have? Um, so we already know, so Vouvray is a white wine made from Chenin, Chenin Blanc grapes that Ro discussed. It's grown along the banks of the Loire River. 
and um, it's just, it's known for its very floral aromas. Like, when I see honeysuckle in something, I get excited, like, because honeysuckle just brings me back to my childhood, and yeah, I definitely, mm, smelling that, and like, just drinking that, it's just, it's I ate good. a bunch of honeysuckles. Me I too. love when they, and it was this time of year, too, right? Like, spring yeah. going into summer, always awesome. And it's always so awesome. weird because... How much alcohol is in yours? Oh, mine is also 12%. 12%. Okay. This is a good wine to pair with... I was just noticing the notes on the back. Um, oh, excuse me, sorry. Serve with poultry, fish, and shellfish. It, be, it should be served chilled, yes, because uh, it's a white wine. And what was I going with that? I think I was going to talk about the what you should pair it with, but it, I, it said on the bottle of bo the back of the bottle, so I got completely distracted. Guys, I'm sorry. It's Friday, and my bottle is already like half gone because I've been celebrating since like 4:30 <laughs> p.m. So, just celebrating that it's Friday. That is pretty much all I have about Vouvray. I'm trying to think if yeah. there's anything else that I haven't talked about. Do, 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 do. That's that's pretty much all I got about Vouvray. And it also can come sparkling, right? Like the yes. like a champagne, almost not champagne, like a sparkling wine. Yeah, like a demi sec. Yeah. Um Oh, that's the other thing I was going to mention is like the price on this is so good. Like, Ro, you said yours was 15. I think mine was 12. Is this two weeks mm -hmm. in a row that my wine is actually cheaper than yours? I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. This is a disturbing <laughs> trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a disturbing it's trend. <laughs> So, but I hey, mean, this is great. You know, I like spending under $20 for a good bottle of wine. This is awesome. You know, and I mean, it, it, this is actually great. I'm actually going to be, I'm having Thai tonight. So, mm. it's going to be perfect with it's it. It's so perfect. Oh, what kind of Thai? Perfect. Um, so, I'm going to have a little pad Thai, and then I'm going to do, do with some spicy green curry. Yes. Oh, that sounds so good. That's going to go perfectly with this. Perfect. So um, spicy and sweet, guys, is, is good. Yeah. And you can also do it with some soft cheeses. Mm -hmm. This is, and, and like Rose said, this is a wine you can drink alone. I mean, my first two glasses were alone. I don't even know if it's going to make it to dinner. I might have finished a bottle by time. It's oh, to think about I mean, food, but... I'm going to continue to celebrate this new gig and yes, you all that good celebrate. stuff. So... I'm telling you, I'm going to be drinking and packing and drinking and, you know, doing my thing. So cheers to you. Cheers, cheers, great. and chin, chin. Is that it? Is that all we have? Uh, I feel, we were like in I and out today. I feel like all we have this month. I mean, this week. Well, um, but we do have some wonderful things coming up, guys. We're so excited. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We have, we have another live coming up, but I'm not going to announce it yet. Just stay tuned because there is another live coming up. And we have got a guest coming up. Um, we've got so, there's so many great things. I'm so excited for like our future and like the people that we get to talk to and collaborate with in the future. There, I feel like was something else. And this is probably why I shouldn't have had two and a half glasses of wine. Cause like thoughts are coming like in and out and like, I can't remember now. <laughs> Oh, this is, okay, this, I know what I was going to say. Uh, thank you, Tony, so much for this suggestion. And please let us know what you guys would like us to drink and talk about. We are more than happy to do that. We are excited about suggestions. Otherwise, we'll just keep drinking whatever, you know, we feel like whatever we buy or whatever's in our, our wine storage. Yes. Um, yes, we will oblige. Um, but yeah. Thanks again, and um, I think that's it. Oh, follow us on YouTube at Crew Booge, C-R-U-B-O-U-G-E, and you can follow us on Instagram at Crew Booge, C-R-U-B-O-U-G-E underscore podcast on Instagram. So, and you can definitely catch us there for our live. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. This is going to be great. I'm excited too. 
All right, everybody. Thank yeah. you for listening to another episode of Crew Bouge. And we will see you again next week. All righty. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. No. I was about to leave this meeting. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. And we're still recording. No, what do I do? <laughs>